My name is Adam Rosante, and I'm a trainer, a nutritionist, and a home cook. Yes, food is fuel for our bodies and our brains, but it is so much more than that. Food is this incredible thing that has the power to bring people together and create community. Unfortunately, it's also something that can be really misunderstood. As a nutritionist, it drives me crazy when I see all of these completely unfounded claims about what it takes to eat well. So my friends at Applegate asked me to debunk some of the myths that I hear most, and I'm gonna do it while making a sandwich, because I'm really hungry. So myth number one, there's one single best diet. Keto, vegetarian, paleo, it's enough to make you crazy. Listen, there are pros and cons with every approach to eating. And if anyone who insists that their way is the only way, is usually saying that because one, I don't know what they're talking about. Two, they're trying to sell you something. Or three, they had some kind of personal success with this approach to eating. And that's awesome, right? But there's nothing particularly magical about any one style of eating. The best diet is the one that's right for your body. The one that you're gonna like enough to stick to for the long term. So just try some stuff out, see what works for you. And Try not to get too swept up in any fads along the way. Myth number two, there are good calories and there are bad calories. A calorie is a unit that measures the amount of energy in foods and beverages. That's it. There's nothing inherently good or bad about it. And I think it could be really helpful to just sort of wrap our heads around that so that we can stop being so judgmental about our food choices. You know, if there's something specific you want to achieve, set a goal for that and then just align your behaviors with it. No judgment. Myth number three, you have to overhaul your life to clean up your eating habits. Like you gotta burn the contents of your fridge and I don't know, hike up to the top of the Himalayan mountains. Not only is it ridiculous, it's completely unsustainable. You can eat a sandwich and still look and feel great. I have coached thousands of people, and I can tell you that the ones who get great results and most importantly keep them are the ones who take small steps consistently. So, thanks for coming over. Listen to my little spiel. If you want the recipe for this here sandwich, just check out below. So that is about it.